Okay, so you have a 9 volt battery here. Your source plus is going to channel when this when this gate closes on the optocoupler, it's going to channel through here. It's going to go up this way. And it's going to uh excuse me. Your source plug positive from your 9 volt battery this is your trigger signal. It's going to go up this way to the base of both of these transistors, which control the two legs on this battery to then give power to this inductor. The, uh, pause, the plus source from your 9 volt battery will channel to the base, go out the emitter, okay, through this diode, which I'll explain in a bit. Through the diode, back this channel to the negative, thereby completing the signal circuit to trigger that transistor here, and this one here, the plus will channel through this way, through the diode, again to the negative. The diodes are here because If you notice the negative terminal of this battery comes to here and the positive terminal of this battery goes to here. That's why the diodes are there to prevent this battery from shorting out and also to prevent these two emitters from connecting. Not that that's a problem. but it's doing that. So the positive from this battery will not be able to reach its negative because it'll be blocked by this diode here. The reason I put two diodes, I only needed one really to block this positive. The reason I put two is because they're creating a imbalance by having one on the emitter channel of, instead of having two on one on each emitter channel and only having you know if this is not here then uh, then more current will flow through this channel than this channel so to keep things balanced it doesn't hurt to put it a diode here also and to load balance the current flow from the base to emitter on each transistor you kind of want the trigger strength to be the same on both thereby keeping the duty side really even or whatever so that's an explanation of that and that's how the uh, opto isolator can send the signal to your your two transistors that control these two gates right here and allow this foil to charge. Of course, you're gonna have this same trigger set up with another two transistors, same wiring as this, and probably a separate optocoupler as well, yes. On the other side of the circuit for this coil to trigger these two gates. Okay, but right now we're just talking about triggering these two gates. What you see here does that. This 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 oil battery is what this circuit is doing. Let's go over the trigger winding now. It sends a positive signal here, a negative excuse me. Let me take So your trigger winding has a plus and minus. When the magnet passes the uh, bifiler, the trigger winding here will get charged. It'll send plus down this way. Okay. And it'll hit the uh, input of the optical isolator. And the negative will go to the other side of the optical isolator. 
triggering this. Uh, so whatever uh, voltage comes off this spy fighter will light up this LED in here and then trigger this gate to close. So that should function as you see it drawn here. And um, I'm open to arguments on any, you know anything that's not correct here. Please feel free to reach out to me and correct me on this. Um, you know the resistor values might be off or whatever. However much uh, voltage you want to put at the base here is up to you. Okay, over and out. Hope that makes sense, guys.